Uh, we're on our way. Uh, officers following a rolling stolen vehicle right now. We're trying to catch up to them. All right, we're chasing this uh, Honda right now. All right, it's over. It's over. Stand up. <laughs> Matthew, Matthew, I'm relax. It's all I'm over, okay? Now. It's no big deal. Do you have any weapons nah, on you? Sir. Nah. Okay. All right, Matthew. There's no way you to call my um, mom. What is that? Oh, it's like a shank. That's what the huh? fool gave me, too. We're well, good, thanks. So you got this shank. It's like a Are you on parole? Probation, sir. For the same thing? For the same dumb uh, thing. Okay, Matthew. Hold on, I'm gonna lock your cuffs up. Because I already know, like, it's stolen, sir. And then I have priors, man. So I'm, I'm messed up. All right, Matthew. Let's go ahead and have a seat. We'll take care of it and just relax, all right? She knew the car was stolen, but she didn't have anything to do with it? Well, she didn't know, like, it was stolen. Like, she knew the person let me use it. But I can't, you know, Okay, no but you can't tell me who gave it to you. Yeah, you know, you know how it is, man. All right, brother. He said he knew it was stolen. He can't tell me who gave him the car. He's on uh, probation for 10851 already. He says his name is Matthew. I'm not getting his ID anywhere. He's got a couple more wallets. Mel, I don't know who that is. Hey, what's the name of the girl you got? I got a bunch of different IDs here. But none of them belong to the suspect. So you live in Cathedral City? The suspect had this in his right front pocket. I asked him what it was. He said it was a shank. It actually fits right into an ignition or maybe a uh, lock on a door. That's a homemade burglary tool for getting into locks. So I'd also charge him with uh, 466 of the penal code, possession of a burglary tool. The ignition in this car is completely punched out right there. And there's the screwdriver. So he probably started with the burglary tool, maybe switched to the screwdriver, completely pried out the ignition, and is able to stick the screwdriver in there and turn the ignition. That's how they get the car started. He's going to jail for possession of a stolen vehicle. I love it when they don't get away. <laughs> Yeah, we've got a vehicle that we ran through the mobile data terminal, and the registered owner doesn't have a valid driver's license. Hi, my name is Officer Dolman with the Des Moines Police. Do you have a driver's license? Uh, no, I don't. Okay, are you the registered owner of the vehicle? I live right there. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay, because I live right there on 31st. I didn't I didn't turn because I saw you in the middle of the street, so that's, that's Yeah, fine. I mean I got the registration here. Do you have an ID on you at all? My school ID. Well, I need you to step out of the car for me. 
Put your hands up there. Do you have anything on you I need to know about? No, sir. Nothing, no weapons, any no, drugs, or anything no, no. like that? Okay. Okay, go ahead and step around to the back here of the car for me. The problem, sir? Well, you have no driver's license, of course. You can't be driving on city streets. You have no... I'm trying to make a buck, man, fixing steering, sir. I understand. Well, I've got to write you a few tickets. Okay, so I need you to sit on the curb for me. Yes, sir. Is, uh, we can I turn the engine off? Because it's going to kill the battery. Yeah, I'll turn it off. Okay. I'll get it. Hey, Natalie. I pulled over uh, Marlon here. Yeah. He's driving his friend's car. His friend uh, on the registration has no driver's license. Uh -huh. He has no driver's license either. They have no insurance. Of course. I just want to keep an eye on him. That's better. Yeah. Yeah. Right up those tickets. Yeah. Appreciate yeah. it. Running Marlin's information one more time. He gave me a middle initial he thought that they put in the last time he had a ticket. I'm not finding his name. No, he's running. Hey! Okay, okay, okay. Are you done? Are you done? Get on the ground. I'm done. 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 Okay, I'm done. I'm done. done. I've got his arm. Okay, okay I'm done. Maybe he had some okay, issues. Okay, I'm done. Yeah. Oh, you're hurting me. I'm done, okay? Just relax. Any officer being in contact with an ambulance, please advise. Come on. Oh, you're hurting me. I'm done. I'm done, okay? Please. Do you I'm want gonna... your hand? I want to have to tackle you. I know, but because I got scared, I wouldn't go to jail, man. Well, now you are going to go to jail. Yeah. I've got to get your chair. Roll over. Yeah. Sit up. Can I pull my phone? No. Oh, I think it might be locked. Yeah. Just stay there. Thank you. Really? You need to get me to the side. Quit wrestling. You think you're going to run away? Well, well, if I try, maybe I can no. get away. <laughs> I'm trying, man. You know, man. I don't want to go to jail, man. Get in the car. You are now. Get in. Ed, our, why did you decide to run? Because I was scared. I thought you, I didn't want, really didn't want to go to jail. And after you were in cuffs, wh wh where were you going to go when you started running away? As far as I could. Last, my last minute of freedom. As far as I could. Take him off to jail. We're going to check this industrial area out, this business area, where we seem to have a lot of problems and see if there's anybody wandering around. This guy's taking off from us. Try, I'm trying to catch up to a vehicle northbound uh, Indian. There's a little red light. Looks like he's probably trying to run from it. Turn nine and blow in the uh, stop sign. And eastbound, eastbound. Oh, uh, no. Continuing north, continuing north. He almost TC to Dillon and uh, Indian, continuing northbound. Copy, blue, stop by northbound, Dillon, Indian. We're going to the special vehicle here. Quick, please. Uh, it looks like they just did a burglary at a uh, one of the businesses. And so they're burglary suspects, and we must have just interrupted them. And we're still continuing. Well, he's slowing down. Looks like he's, yep, he's going to be going eastbound on Pearson. See if they can set up some spike strips there. Eastbound Pearson. Approaching a uh, little Morongo, 85 miles an hour. Approaching little Morongo. He just blacked out and now continuing eastbound. And he's looking, it looks like he's going to lose control. No, continue to east, still maintaining. Copy vehicle blacked out. Yeah, his lights are back on and he's going to, yeah, he rolled it, station, he's rolled it. Yeah, you want a gunplay? Want a gunplay? Don't move! Don't move! Don't move! Right, as far as I know, there's only one guy, okay? Yeah. We got another unit coming. Yeah. He just rolled it and flipped it here. 
Tony, I've got uh, DHS uh, units with me now, uh, felony stuff. I'm going to just cover this car up here. Is he the only one with him? Okay, go for it. That right, car's clear. It's for your feet. Copy, 1034. Affirmative. Yeah, if we could, because he just um, rolled it, man. Four, little Morongo, Pearson, he flipped the heck out of that car, man. Whap, all over the place. Go ahead. What's up, man? Just happened to roll up on you, Bergen, that stuff, huh? Yeah, man, uh, I'm not gonna say nothing, but they told me it was their car, and as soon as I saw your light, yeah. I knew it was stolen. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You knew this was stolen? When you turn on the light, yeah. We got medical coming in. You hurt anywhere? No, I just, my leg hurts. Okay, well, we'll check on you here in just a minute, all right? Yeah, man. He hit this dirt over here, right through the dips. And he just, that's when I saw him losing control. I thought he, I'm surprised he made it this far. Let me talk to him for a minute. Okay, thanks. You just took me out of speed to 100 miles an hour, man. You just Copy. about flipped it. You didn't really care, did you? You, on, you under the influence of meth? Hey, um, sir, for, for real, um. Yeah, what's up? I, I got some weed and um, some pills. And this is the first time I kicked it with some girls out here. Yeah. And um, I don't know, I just got. Did you really think you were going to get away? Huh? You really no, think you were going to get away? I was just trying to get home for, so my sister could come out. Just so I could tell her what happened, right? You a gang member from LA? Um, yeah. We got medical coming right now, okay? You're lucky you're alive after that, man. Oh man, I, I know. Um, man. But seriously, officer, um, I didn't know he was gonna get to that point. But um What were you doing in that back alleyway? So there's a car back there that got burged. I didn't burglarize. No. Okay, what were you doing in that alleyway? Um, picking up that car. Oh really? Yeah. Uh, so we just happened to happened to be there. Yeah. You hopped in right at the time when we were back there? It, it, hey. Now, as soon as I hopped in, bam, you turned on the lights, and that's when I said, oh, man. So I said, man, I... Didn't I, even see me sitting there. We just happened to be lucky. <laughs> yeah, man, I was just stupid. I know I can't say sorry because, hey, you know, I did it, and I, I know it's right and wrong, for real. I, I was just stupid. All right, man, I'm going to talk to you some more at the jail, okay? All right, right now you know you're going to be booked on felony evading and uh, probably the stolen vehicle and everything else, okay? Uh, All right, we'll talk in a little bit. He'll be locked up for the night, at least a couple of days. What is this guy doing? This guy's messing with this girl here. Yo, I'm gonna have to talk to him. Come here. Huh? Step over here. Drop your cigarette. Keep your hands out of your pockets. Put your hands in your pockets on me. Step over here. Get over the wall. Keep your hands out of your pocket. Get over the wall. All right. Put your hands behind your back. Get on the grip. Get on the grip. Hey, uh, all right. Uh, control one, DP 13, 416. Get on the ground. Stay on the ground. All right, all right. All right. Stay on the ground. All right. Stay on the ground. All right. All right. You're talking. You're By talking. the Boulevard and Sands. Get on the ground. Stay. Stay on the ground. I got it, I got it. Now. OK. Get up. Oh. Lean over the car. When in custody, keep me another unit rolling. That boulevard and sand. Don't move. All right. One DP-13, go ahead and lift the ring. Why'd you try to run if you didn't do that job? Because I don't want to go to jail. Hey, take him. Take him. What's that? You go out of pageant, right? There was a guy and a girl walking down the street here. He uh, went up and was grabbing the girl. Looked like he was trying to get in her pocket just by grabbing her. Obviously, he has something to hide if he's uh, trying to fight hey, and willing to run just, like that. He just, so. told it, he just told us he has a warrant because he missed court, so. How old is he? I don't know, we're checking yeah. right now. All right, get all his ideas. So. Said he didn't want to go to way. jail, but he's gonna go to jail for resisting, obstructing anyway, so. Do you know those people you were up there talking to? Yeah, the ones who was on their back? Yeah, yeah who were they? That's Lizzie and her. 
forgot the other dude's name. I just met him. I was just helping her up. She didn't stop her nothing, so I swear. I just pushing her up on her back. Then I turned around and you stopped me. I pulled up my pants. I'm scared because I just bailed out. Pull up your pants. I swear to God, I was Well, if you're wondering why, because you're reaching in your pockets, right? Why'd you try to run? I wasn't I'm scared, man. I just got out of jail. For what? For um, jaywalking. For jaywalking? Yeah. So if you would have just talked to me, not made this into a bigger deal than it already was, you'd be walking away from here. But I'm since sorry. you tried to run. I'm sorry, sir. You got something to hide then, right? I'm not hiding nothing, sir. I'm, I was just, I just bailed out not even two days ago. Hey, has he got ID? No. 440, that's why you ran, right? What's that? You got warrants. Okay, what do you want to do, just warrants for? Yeah, I'm going to do them for the warrants. You do a resisting too? Um, yeah, Did I'll probably. No, we just wrestle around. Like no, so. we just wrestle around. All right, so resisting and then and then 13,000 of warrants. That's good. That's a good okay. robbery warrant. You're under arrest. You got warrants. You got $3,000 warrant for petty larceny from person. You got $10,000 warrant for robbery. Can I say something, no. sir? What do you want to say? I just got out of court for that. Listen, All right. you can go explain it to the judge. All right. You got warrants and you tried to run. Now I you got caught. I know about now you're okay. Put up a good fight, though. I give you that. Nice try. Turn around. Try to run again. It ain't gonna work. Where's he bleeding? He did his elbow. He's he tried to run and he fell in the middle of the road. So if you could just look just look at his elbow, just it probably ain't even nothing. I just wanna make sure. Sit down. Have a seat. Your elbow's not even bleeding that bad. He's going to jail. They're running up this guy's record. He's he's definitely out here up to no good. He's out here pickpocketing from people. By looking at his record, he's got pages and pages of larceny from a person, which can be anything from pickpocketing to stealing purses, taking stuff from people. So he's got thirteen thousand dollars in warrants. Here's the deal, man. You're going to jail. You got ten thousand dollar robbery warrant, three thousand dollar larceny from a person warrant. I know what you're up to out here. You got no business being down here. So, you got caught today, you're going to jail. Just stop this vehicle right here, because it's got a broken out uh, left rear tail light. See what the story is. Hello, ma'am. Officer Cook, Las Vegas Metro, how are you? Are you serious? The reason I stopped you is that your tail light's all broken out here? It was an accident. Do you happen to have your driver's license registration proof insurance? Do you want me to pull it out? Yes, please. Okay. You got a check engine light on and other things. What's going on with this car? The lady hit me. And it how, was how long ago? A while ago. How long is a while ago? A while, like December. Okay. And you haven't thought about getting some tape to get that thing fixed? Well, I'm getting it fixed, but it was a hit and run, so I have to like go through, go through a process. It was a hit and run, so I mean, I'm not gonna pay four grand out of my own pocket to get it fixed when it wasn't my fault. How's your driving record, ma'am? Good. Okay. Have you ever been cited or arrested for anything in your life? No. No? Oh, wait. I got a, uh, I don't know what ticket it was. Oh, don't be reaching for anything like that, ma'am, please. Oh, it's tickets. Do you have, no, have you gone to court on these at all? Yes, I'm paying fines. They're right Okay, here. so there wouldn't be any warrants for your arrest or anything no. like that. Okay. I'm going to run it through the computer just to make sure that everything's on the up and up. She doesn't have any warrants and whatnot. And from the record checks I've done, it shows that the driver of the vehicle has a suspended driver's license. The insurance she gave me is expired, and she has an equipment violation on the vehicle. So due to our department policy, I can't let her drive this vehicle. Ma'am, could I have you shut the car off, step out, and talk to me for a minute? Yeah, I'm in my bathing suit. OK, that's fine. It's just going to take a second. You can close the door. I'm in my like Come over here. I'm going to have you step on this side of the car. I don't see any reason to pat you down or anything due to the fact that right here, right here is fine. Ma'am, right here. Yeah. Okay. I ran you through the I ran you through the DMV. Okay. And your driver's license is suspended. I just take, took care of everything. I, ju I just ran it, ma'am. I'm telling you. I just I got done paying $250. Okay. Well, what I'm telling you right now from my checks is that your driver's license is suspended. Okay. I get you a citation for that. I get you a citation, which is a, a, a fix it citation for your equipment violation, which is why I stopped you in the first place, OK? Unfortunately, I'm going to have to tow your car due to the fact that you have no proof of liability insurance. Can you my house? <laughs> no, ma'am. I can't do that, OK? So I just want to let you know what was going on as far as that's concerned. Is there anything in that car that I need to know about? No, you could check it. You could look. Well, I'm going I to. I just have surgery. I'm having my boobs done. I don't 
done. You're going to have them done? Yes, I'm going to have them done. I'm having surgery in four days. Okay. So if you cannot tell my car, because I already have so much to do. Well, you should be able to get your I car. Know, it's not it's that expensive. It's just an inconvenience for it to, like, happen. I'm telling you, like, all my insurance is paid for. I'm not going to lie to you. I have no reason to, but everything's paid for. I don't know why my license is suspended because I just paid for everything. Okay. So everything should be okay. Are you 100% uh, certain as to yes, what's going on I'm here? 100%. You're clear. Okay, yes. very good. Can I go back? No, or stay no? here for a second. All right. You want to you sit, sit, sit over here in the grass for a second? Just sit down and relax. I'm going to have you do a step out of the car right now. I have to inventory it for it to be towed. Why don't you come out? Just leave your stuff. Is that all your stuff? Okay, wait a minute. Before you pull all that out, I want to take a look through it. I got, you got no problem with me looking no, through your no, purse? No okay, way. all right. Come on back over here. Stand by your friend. Okay. If you guys want to, you can take a seat over here, you know, on that concrete or whatever. You're going to have everybody and their sister whistling at you with your, with, uh, your suits on and whatnot. Okay. Passenger gave me consent to search her personal property, so I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Interesting. she got a handcuff purse. Maybe she supports law enforcement. Also, some handcuffs on the rearview mirror there. Interesting. Just have you just sign on the red X. It's not an admission to guilt. It's only a promise to appear in court on the 27th during regular business hours. So go ahead and sign there on the red X as well. Okay. Tow truck should be around. This is your license as well as your other old citations and whatnot. Make sure you keep paying on those old ones so you don't want them to go to warrant. You know what I mean? Yeah. They're not a warrant right now. I, I checked it out, but make sure you get it all taken care of, okay? Have a better day. It's like these two gals kind of got acquainted with each other a little earlier. I don't know what the story is or what the background is, but one thing about working in Vegas is, is always a uh, surprise waiting for you around every corner and every traffic stop in this case. Yikes. We just had a subject uh, run the intersection at uh, one of our busy intersections. He ran the red light. He's at a high rate of speed. I'm trying to catch up to him now. Copy. Now going to be going uh, northbound on Juniper from Randall. He's weaving through uh, the roadway. You can see he's probably going to be DUI. Going to be going westbound Merrill from Juniper. It looks like it's going to be occupied one time. Still going westbound, just around the stop sign at Oleander. Ever continue westbound around the stop sign at Oleander. Get out of the car. 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 What am I doing? Get out of the car. The car's rolling. What am I doing? What am I doing? Get out of the car. Put your hands behind your back. Hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. I got it. I got it. Stop resisting. I got his left arm. Stop resisting. Good job, guys. Hello, the senior. Get up. Drunk? Yeah, he's drunk. Oh, nice. Did you search him pretty good? You know what? I didn't search the front of him. Hey, how come you didn't stop? I don't want it. You didn't want to stop? No. OK. So what? OK. OK. OK what? You ever been arrested before? Yes, a lot of times. OK, sit down. OK. Siéntate aquí. I don't push me. Sit down. You don't push me. OK, sit down. Don't push me. I could do. Don't sit push. down. OK, don't push me this. Sit down. Get uh. your feet in the car. Get your feet in the car. You want to talk to my lawyer, right? OK, I'll talk to your lawyer. OK, you can do that. Huh? All right. OK. We're going to take him back to the States right now and force blood on him. He's already refused to do any uh, field sobriety tests. He's being extremely uncooperative. He told me that he's been arrested for driving under the influence several times, and he's actually on felony probation for prior driving under the influence. Luis, are you okay? You feeling all right? What happened? 
Okay. You okay? What happened? How come you didn't stop when I tried to pull you over? I pulled over. You pulled over? Okay, how come you didn't pull over right away? Oh, that depends on how I feel. That depends on how you feel? Did you feel like you didn't want to pull over? Okay. Were you trying to go to your house? Okay. Sit there and relax for a second, okay? All right, All right. we're gonna uh, do a blood draw now. You wanna get out of the car? Get some fresh air? Sit down, right here. Okay. Okay. Relax. Just get up. All right, sir. I need your arm. She's gonna draw blood from him. See what his blood alcohol content is. This is not fair. I don't think it's fair. Okay. You know what I mean? Relax. You think it's fair? I don't think it's fair. Hold Relax. still, okay? Thank you. No problem. I mean, I, I, I'm an animal. Okay. Keep your arm down. I sure. He's going to be transported to West Valley Detention Center for the charges of driving under the influence, 23152A and B, and also uh, vehicle code section 2800, felony evading. We're responding to a verbal disturbance. Uh, the report is claiming that uh, he's trying to gain custody of his vehicle from his ex-girlfriend. Yep, they're fighting. he got two on the ground fighting. Get over here now. You lied. Get over here now. You lied. Yes, sir. No, I'm taking it out for the car. Shut up! Hey! Why you hit her for? I didn't hit her. No, she did. No, I didn't. You be quiet right now. Everyone, everyone be quiet. Why did you get out of the car? I drugged her! Where's the paperwork at? Why do you do that? Yes, sir. I, I was trying to defend myself. I'm going to state attorneys in the morning. Do you see my Down purse? Do you see Hell my purse no. where she drug me out of the car? Yeah, I seen that. Look at that. Look at. And I can't touch her. Get get the 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 I don't know. She jumped you, but you're on top of her. Well, I'm sorry. I got the best of her, but she jumped me. How'd she jump you? She got out of the car, car but I was been waiting on you, fat bitch. Okay. That's all I know. Well, how did why'd you get out of the car? Well, she was beating me in my face. What did you want me to do? Sit there and take it? You in your face, you're in your car. Oh my god. Where were you my at? My window the car? is down, sir. Okay? okay. I own the van. You want me to show the paperwork? Where's the paperwork at? Okay, open my trunk. She pulled me on the ground and she just jumped on top of me and started punching me all in my face. Look at my face. Okay. Look at my hair. She you freaking wanna, punched wanna me in my on jaw. Yeah, just a regular I was just right trying now. to get her off of me. That's all okay. I was you trying to do. You want to put on a statement for us? Yes, Let's sir. Let's get start on a statement, okay? Yes, sir. I'm Please, so hey, sorry. Step sir. back here with me. Okay. Did you find that title yet, ma'am? Yes, sir. I'm getting it right now. There's no bag of green substance in my purse. Excuse hold on, me, hold on, excuse. hold on. You don't have hold clothes on. to go in my purse, huh? You don't have permission. I'm sorry, but I don't have nothing in, in my purse. I'm sorry, I don't have nothing. Put your hands behind your back. When you don't find nothing in my purse, what? There's a bag of green substance, no, either not weed or mine, herbs. Mine, not mine. Not yeah, no, mine. Yeah. This is so not fair. That's not a bag of green stuff. Sir, that's not your purse. mine. Come on. Please. Why would you fight me over it? Now you know that's Why not mine. Please. I don't know what else is going on, but this is so not right. Oi. Don't lean on your arms. Oi. This is the proof right here that you signed the, the title over to her. So. Okay. Well, what proof is that? Other than it's got my signature on it. It's saying you, you transferred the, the, the ownership of the vehicle. I never transferred anything. Okay, so. well, look, I'm not I'm not a judge, okay? I never I'm, I'm just basing anything. it. Basing I know it. when I went down to the title, is it my turn to speak yet? Yeah, go ahead. When I went to the title place and got my new title, they said the title that I got, which is in my car, is a title that's good for the van that I bought, that I got insured for me and her, that she was on my insurance. So this title that's right here that she may or had got me to sign or do whatever I have done to it is no good. 
If you look on the date on this title, it is no good. If you look at the date on my title, it is valid. Okay, well, you're gonna have to take that to the court, okay? Yes, sir. And, and prove, it, prove it to them, okay? But right yes, now, sir. as I see, this evidence stands, stands as it is, Sounds okay? Good. Sounds good. Right. Sounds good to me. All right. I'll be here in the morning to get my van. Okay. Thanks for all the help y'all guys was. Gee, thanks. I'm gonna have to document your injuries, okay? Why she just totally child, just attacked me. You don't hit nobody in front of my daughter. In, in front of my baby. Or daughter. steal nobody's van or title and sign it. I, I believe we're done, and right, I'm Jonathan? Take, I'm sir. Gonna... We're done, right? Yes, sir. Enjoy issue. We're trying to take care of your girlfriend. Yes, right sir. I, and we're I our greatly baby appreciate in the car. it very much. Please right. go get the baby in the car. You guys I got it right here. Her seeing all this, I don't want her being Well, that's what it's. So Please, you know Lord Jesus, step, don't. Right? Child abuse. Let's go that's take her back to the car. The evidence with the the smaller girl that was pulled out of the vehicle. I mean, her purse is spilled on the ground, everything like that. I mean, somebody doesn't just jump out of the vehicle with the purse spilled all over the ground. So. And all the witnesses are on her behalf. So we have enough probable cause to take her to jail for the battery, as well as she's got a bag of marijuana, marijuana sitting there. Hey everybody, Law and Crimes Jesse Weber here. I think it's pretty obvious from how wild Cops Reloaded is that the world isn't always the safest place. Well, that is why I wanted to highlight our partner and proud sponsor of Cops Reloaded, Morgan and Morgan. You know from watching this show, one of the most unsettling things in life is if you get hurt. You don't know what to do. You don't know where to turn. Well, Morgan & Morgan is actually the largest injury law firm in America. I mean, 3 million people call them every year. They've completely modernized the process to make it super easy for their clients. How? Well, you submit your claim, you sign contracts, you upload documents, you talk to your whole legal team, all on your phone. That's it. An attorney is going to review your case in just eight clicks. That is incredible to think about how quickly you can submit a claim and have them fight for you. And in terms of price, you only pay them if you win. There's no upfront fee. So if you're injured, you can submit a claim at forthepeople.com slash cops reloaded or by dialing pound law. That's pound 529 on your phone. We're responding now to a report of somebody that wouldn't leave and security approached him and the guy pulled a knife on him. And I think that is him. Hi, guys. Come here. Stand in front of the car. Come on up, all the way up, grab a hold of the push bumper. I need to see your hands right there. Hey, bring your feet back. You guys got anything on you you're not supposed to have? No. What are you out doing today? Oh. OK. All right, here's what's going on. Somebody called in about somebody being in a Walmart with a knife on them, and then they left, OK? And the guy's supposed to have on shorts like what you're wearing. Do you have ID on you today? No, actually, I don't. I... OK, just have a seat right there in the bumper. I mean, I got a... I... They got a picture of him here, and I'm thinking that we've got the guy right here. Sure, it matches the description. Sure looks like him. So, and it looks like he probably has a warrant for false imprisonment, which is basically what he was close to doing over at the convenience store. You didn't have words with the security guard over there. So when he calls and he says a man with a camouflage hat wearing blue shorts with yellow stripes on the bottom and a dark colored shirt, and he tells you to describes you to a T, says that he had a little confrontation with I you over there. So he's a that. flat out liar. He I just wanted to call the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office just because that's what he felt I like doing for the day. And he said he had a little pocket knife just like this. But nothing happened. You didn't talk to anybody over there. No. Okay. I went I okay. went inside. I... Robert, turn around here. Turn around. Turn Face around the car. Robbie, you got a warrant for your arrest. Can okay. You? Plus, we need to figure out what's going on with you but over there. I know. I know. But can we call my girl that's coming? She's coming to get me. Okay. Let's go over here and have a seat in the car. Just stay right there. But can we talk to her? Him. Her name is Debbie. Have a seat for me. Okay. Can we do that? Have a seat. Debbie, have a seat. Debbie. Okay. Have a seat. I think we might have who you're talking about. Where do you recognize him from? Uh, Walmart. What happened over there? Uh, he he asked me for some change, and I told me he couldn't solicitate her. And he had a knife in his hand. So and then he came in my store, so I went and called you guys. OK. Do you remember what the knife looked like? It's black. It's black? OK. Yeah, yeah. That's it there? What do you think his intention was? Probably to use it. Probably to use it? OK. All right. Debbie. That's it. Out. You. Out. Yeah. Come on. Out. Out. Debbie. Lay down. Look, lay down right on the ground. Lay down. Debbie. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. Out to the land down, you Lay down. OK, now, the OK, big guy, big shot. Look, 
Debbie. You I dictated this, all right? Like trying to kick out the windows. Debbie, just do a big thing. Debbie, tell me. Oh, oh, Debbie. What? <laughs> I love you. Yeah, I'm sure. Well, at least you could say the same. Couldn't you? That's not right. Liam on his back. His son is up on, on, the on the side. Oh, oh, oh. You ready? Yep. Oh, Go with feet first. Oh. Give me that mask down there, too. Oh. No, you made your killing my hands. Wait, Daddy! Ready to wiggle? Don't spit, dude, because you hit me. Hey, did you get my glasses? Did you get my glasses? Yeah, they're on your head. See, always act like that. Yeah, I've been drinking all day. You realize why we took him out and did that, right? Did you see him kicking the window? Oh, yeah. Did you see it almost go? Oh, yeah. Okay. Robert. I'll see you, Doug. I'm, I'm cool. Okay, and I appreciate that. And I'm going to take your, your word as a man that, that you're done and no more of that, okay? Because when you get down to jail, if you act like that, it's I, not going to be a good day for you. I know, I promise. Okay. I want to explain to you what you're being charged with so you know, all right? I know what I'm being charged with. What are you being charged with? Violation of probation. We've got an aggravated assault for pulling a knife on a security guard. Correct. You spit and you tried to knock these but windows I out. Okay, I, under I, I understand that, okay? But by doing that, you picked up some new charges. All right, whatever, man. Okay, we're going to send you down now. Looks like we're having some type of disturbance here at one of the local restaurants. Uh, possibly the male half is uh, intoxicated. I'm gonna go inside and see what's going on. Hello. Hi. Is everything okay? Well, yeah. Yeah? Yeah? Can I help you? Well, I don't know. We were called out here. Some type of disturbance. You have been drinking tonight, sir? Yes, I have. Yeah, is there some type of problem that we're having, or? No? Well, then how come we're getting called out here today? So well, I'm here to, to find the bathroom out. And I ordered my food. Okay. You didn't cause any kind of disturbance or anything like that. You're not arguing with any of the employees or. No. We just actually paid for an extra meal. Okay. This your wife? Yeah. Were you guys fighting? No. So you and the wife gonna have any issues? You guys gonna be able to? She's right there. Okay. <laughs> Relax for a second. No problem. What's going on? I'm so scared. I'm very aggressive when he's drinking. Okay. And I left him. Okay. And he promised that he was going to stop drinking. Okay. And he came home and I could smell it. Okay. And whenever I'm around him, he's mean to me. Okay. And I knew that this was my only way out. Just okay. To call it before it started. Look, okay, has he assaulted you at all tonight? The other night he did. I got bruises on my chest. You got bruises on your chest? Okay. But he didn't call me because I was scared. Okay. Okay, just hold tight for one minute, okay? What are you gonna do? I want, I want to go put him in place in handcuffs for right now, okay? okay. Just relax. <laughs> just relax, okay? Okay, no, do me a favor. Set your wallet right here and turn around for me. Can I ask what's going on? Well, I'll, I'll inform you in a moment. Separate your feet for me, sir. What's going on? Separate your feet, Noel. I got a knife right here in the pocket knife thing. You told him to call? Thank you. Okay, just relax, Noel, all right? I did, you did lose your job. There goes my job. He didn't lose job. There goes. No. no. Thank you, Amanda. Okay, come on out to the car with me. No. Can I ask what's going on? She's got bruises. No, she does not. Yeah, she does. Not from me. Oh, relax. Eric, your mom says I hit her. You're saying you got bruises? So. She did. He did not hit her. Dude. <laughs> Amanda, come on. Okay, they're saying last night. I didn't do that. So what happened the other night? All right, I don't have a seat. Know. What do you mean you don't Dude, know? I right, don't. Just, then have a seat. I'm gonna give you this one last chance, Noel. Have a seat. Oh my God. Dude, I'm not that way. Okay, what happened between you and her three, four nights ago? Okay, pull your feet in. I think what happened was that basically, I mean, we had a little altercation. We had an argument, a family argument. Okay. And I might have pushed her. You don't remember whether or not you pushed no. her? She slapped you, you never punched her, you never yeah, kicked her, never knocked we, her off her feet, hit the, her up against the wall. I mean, the next day, dude, I mean, we were lovey-dovey. Okay. I didn't know this okay. was like this. Okay, pull your feet in, Ola. Let me go talk to her real quick, okay? Are you looking to be a victim of domestic violence? 
I feel okay. I am. I'm scared every night. I don't, I'm, he wonders why I sleep on the couch and it's because I'm scared. Okay. I don't know what attitude he's gonna go into. I don't, Ooh. he just like I said when you guys walked in, I had just asked him, let me drive. I think you've been drinking. I haven't been drinking, but once you walked in yeah. and you said, have you been drinking? And he says, yep. Yeah. See, he exactly. was lying to me. When, when did the altercation take place that you got the bruising Monday. from? Monday. Mm -hmm. And what happened? Just briefly explain to me. I was having a good time with the kids. He pushed me off to the side, smacked me upside the head. <laughs> he pushed me down the hall. <laughs> I asked my younger boy to grab the phone and call the cops that I was scared. He hit me across the chest, and I asked him to stop. Please stop. I always ask him to stop, but it's like he, he knows he has control. Okay. Okay, no, like I explained to you earlier, you're gonna go down to the Victorville jail, okay? You're gonna get booked in for felony spousal abuse, okay? Now there's two sides to every story. We all go through hard times, but you got you gotta channel that another way, brother. So we're looking for three male black juveniles throwing rocks over the overpass onto the street. One of the people that was struck by a rock is now chasing these juveniles. We're on the cell phone with them. 8370 County, I got the juveniles right here. Stop where you're at. Put your hands on the car. Put your hands on the car. All of you guys. What are you guys doing? Can I talk? Yes, sir. Go ahead. First it was three of us. At first it was four. And then and then one of the guys said, I have to go. And then we, I, I took up some rocks in this, like, a little corner. We put the rocks on. And um, we were throwing rocks. And we were the day two. We were up there, and I was bringing up rocks. And then he said, he said, guys, a car stopped in reverse. Yeah, the guy. Okay, okay, we got this. We got him. We're hey, going to get the story. He almost got us into an accident, man. I got two little girls. I didn't understand. They okay. ran off the uh, Did they hit your car? Yeah. They hit yeah. your car? Okay, how fast were you going when they struck you? We're doing the speed limit. Yeah. The speed limit? Which was, uh, so which is 55? 55, yeah. We're doing okay. 55. How old are your girls inside the car? I got a 9-year-old and an 8-year-old. Okay, where did a rock strike? It struck the rear passenger door, right side. Okay. Did it shatter anything or break anything? No, it caused a nice little dent and scratch, yeah. So you could eyewitness them, right? You could point them out? Yes. OK. How far did you chase them? Uh, from 294 to here. So about, what, five blocks at least? It's going to be a felony charge on the three juveniles. Hi, ma'am. Which one's your son? Walter. Which one's Walter, the little guy? Brad. What happened, Walt? Step out, Walter. OK, you were just going to punishment for going to tracks. You promised me, you right, promised me you were not going on the tracks again. You promised me that. That's why you got a punishment. You can take them. That's why you got a punishment, right? What did you tell me, mommy? I promise, I promise, I promise I won't go on the tracks again, right? Am I right? You just got a punishment. I've been on punishment for one week. Mom. What? I was just taking one rock and then. No, no, taking rocks where? I was giving it to them. And what then were you? they threw and then they threw rocks and then they hit the man's car and then the man saw us three running. Wait, hit the man's car where? One where were you at? I was with them. Where were you at? On the train track. On the train track you promised me you weren't gonna go, right? They, they hit the vehicle on the highway, ma'am. I didn't hit it though. So that's why they're gonna be taken and you're gonna have to go over there and uh, sign for them? To go to jail? You're not going to jail, but you're gonna have to go get processed. This is a very serious thing. I had a criminal record at the age of 10. Are you serious right now, Walter? That wasn't my fault. You can take them. Okay. Take them. Come on back in, buddy. Sit down. Louie, put the window up, please. We're going to process them, and then you're going to have to sign them out. OK? What if I want to sign them out? You're going to have to, because uh, you're the parent, and we can't stay over? No, we can't. I wish we could. It'll be a lot easier. Yeah. yeah, I've been really wanting something like this, too. <laughs> I'm glad you're out here, though. That means you care, and he seems like a good kid. Just bad mistakes, and I don't know. Wrong crowd. Exactly. Bad friends. I'm going to check for the damage where uh, the rock struck the car. It appears it struck right here. Nice little dent in there. I don't see it anywhere else, but going at 55 miles an hour, luckily it didn't go through the window and strike one of the kids in the back. Whose mother are you? Which kid? Oh, Maurice's mother. Maurice's, okay. The one in the purple? Yes. Okay. Yeah, they admitted to throwing rocks. They were running and huffing and puffing. That's where I uh, encountered them, right there in the corner, running from the complex. 
I'll let you talk to your son briefly right now. But no yelling and screaming, though. Wait till you get home for that. <laughs> Beat his ass. OK. I ain't do it. No, you did. I didn't. The Frank did it. Even if he did do it, you know what? You was around him. That make you just as guilty. But I ain't do it, though. That wasn't me. You in the house to this time next year. You know, you could have killed somebody. I ain't do it. You was with him. But I ain't do You it. was with him. That's so, just so as he, bad. So he could That's somebody. just as bad. I'm glad you guys showed up. I know it's an unfortunate situation, but it shows that you guys care. Those are good kids that just made a bad choice. Calls for service tonight have been a little slow, so we're going to go be a little proactive. This area has gotten a couple of recent calls for narcotic activity. Right, let's check these two out, see what they're doing. What's up? What's up, buddy? You live here? Uh huh? You live here? No, I'm waiting on my girl right now. Your girl? Yeah. What's your girl's name? Oh, Guy, I think I need you shouldn't have? Now then I'll step up right up here. Right here. Right in front. Put your hands on the hood. You ever been arrested before? No. Never? Ever? How long you been in Vegas? I've been in Vegas for a couple hey, months. Stand right here in front. What are you doing here? I'm here waiting for my sister. Step on out and talk to me for a second. Sure. Just step in front for me. Grab the hood of the car. So what's the problem? Hey, you guys are just hanging out here. You don't live here. You're picking people up. Put your hands on your back. Put your hands behind your back right now. What? What did I do? I, I'm going to drop you in a second. You put your hands behind your back. All right, put this hand behind your back. Put it up. What did I do, sir? I, I'll tell you in a minute. What did I do? Hog that. You turn around on me again, I'm going to make that. What did I do? For pursuit. Heading towards. Go. 725 direct. We're going on to Tam from Cleveland. Making a right on Tam. All black. Blue jeans, black shirt, BMA, braids in the hair, faded jeans. Stop him! Stop him! Mate, 2204. Let me see your hands. Oh, your hands oh, yeah. Come on, let me see your hands. Both of them, both of them. Both of them, get your hands, come on, crawl towards me. Crawl out towards me. You're the only one of them or what? Yeah, the other guy was in the other car. Code four, one in custody. We're gonna retrace our steps. People run, they have stuff on them that they want to get rid of. No. Yeah? Look at this. <laughs> what do you think this can be? This could be. Oh, individually packaged and everything. Nope. Oh, now he's really going. Good, good eye, brother. Medic West Transport UFC Chihuahua. That looks to be about over 10 pieces of rocks in here. It's enough for trafficking. Eh? All right. So what's up? I was buying some marijuana, sir, from the dot guy in the red shirt. That's what I was doing, sir. And I was not, that is not my van, sir. I swear to God. It's not your van, but you're in the driver's seat. I was buying the marijuana. I gave the guy my money. He, he had a whole lot right on here. you. He said, wait right here. And he said, he'd be right back. That's what he said to me. He wasn't right back, though. And I found crack right where you were. Right where I were? Where do you mean? Yeah, crack baggy. You ain't found no crack where I was. I bro. did. That's Don't what, lie to me. I'm going to start tacking stuff on. All right, I'll give you a few minutes to think. What are you doing here? I was waiting for my sister. Waiting for your sister. This guy's saying something else. I don't know that guy. You don't know him at all. You're parked, look at it from our perspective. You're parked right behind him, right? I just pulled up. You're parked right behind him, right? Yeah. All right. He's here, you're there. It's a high narcotics activity area. Yeah. He told me, he told me he knew you. He admitted it. I tested the drugs that we found. Both came back positive for crack cocaine. I tested two just in case. So. Good enough. I uh, had 10 pieces of rocks in there. Um, That's good enough. Uh, 4.2 grams. All That's right. good for trafficking. All right, stay by the car, cut you a big break. What yeah. you're doing on your own time and your own business with whoever and however much you're paying, 
That's on you. Go. You want to know your charges? Yeah. All right, you're going for possession of a stolen vehicle. You're going for the crack. It was tested, it's positive, individually packaged for sales. You're going for obstructing a police officer. All right, any other questions? Right now we're in pursuit of a assault with a deadly weapon suspect. We monitored the Sacramento Police Department who put out a call of a guy that assaulted somebody with a pole. We found the suspect vehicle on the freeway and now we're in pursuit of it. Oh, they did. I smell rubber. I smell rubber. Okay. I think it did work. Or... Yeah, he may have hit a tax strip. So we, uh, the suspect that we've been chasing may have hit one of the spike strips that one of the uh, agencies put out. That's all right. It's just a cone. Yeah, he did. His front right tire and back rear tires out. 6 6 David. His tires are coming apart. This should be terminating here really soon. We're coming up to, I think, Pedrick Road. 6 6 David related CHP that his tires have already come apart. We're starting to pick up some CHP units. They haven't caught up yet, but they're uh, close. He's going on three good tires and one bad one. We're westbound 80. Speeds are down to 80. We're passing Pedrick. We're just waiting for his tires to come apart and him to just slow down to the point where we can uh, use the uh, pursuit immobilization technique where we spin him out to get him to stop this pursuit. 6 6 David, we've handed the pursuit off to CHP. So right now we've uh, handed the pursuit off to CHP. 6 6 David, we're slowing down to 60. Looks like this is going to be terminating here really soon. We're at Pitt School Road. 6 David, we're down to 50, still westbound on 80. CHP is going to do it, do the pursuit move. Okay. Come on, easy. I'm getting the rifle. Get out of the car with your hands up! Here, I'll take it. Step out of the car! Face forward! Face forward. Lift your jacket up. I got I got it. Okay, unless your face, take it off. Take it off. Just take it off and set it on the ground. Turn around. Interlace your fingers behind your head. Walk backwards right now. Walk backwards. Keep okay. walking. Keep walking. Bring him over here, Mike. Keep walking. Stop. Okay. It's all good. Why'd you run for like 50 miles? Sir, I didn't, I didn't run for 50 miles. I just got scared. What were you doing when the cops were behind you? What were you thinking? I was scared. Of what? What are you scared of? Are you on parole? I don't want to go to jail. Are you on parole or probation? I'm on parole, sir. Okay. Have you ever been involved in a police pursuit before? No, sir. Is the first time? It's crazy, huh? It's scary. That's some scary stuff. I'm just glad that no one got hurt. I'm just glad you didn't mash into anybody. I didn't hurt myself, or I didn't hurt no one. Yeah. I'm glad that, too. That was good. And at least your car didn't get jacked up at all, either. Yeah, my girl, she actually really needs that, man. She's What's that? Lady's car? Yeah. Well, just like we, well, we actually bought it. Well, there's nothing wrong with it. It has, like, a little paint when they did the spin maneuver on you. Okay. So it's not it's not all jacked up. Hey, do us a favor. Yes, Never run from the cops yeah, again. next time, just don't run from the cop. It's still okay. scary. Okay. All right. All right, man. Good luck. Watch your feet. Over there at one of the motels off of Matsy, him and his girl got into a disagreement okay. because he was wanting her to go out and prostitute and she wasn't willing to do it. So he actually took an ashtray and smashed her face in and she's got some bleeding and cuts. Oh, he caused some face. injuries to her? Yeah. Now I heard also he's wanted for a robbery. Yeah, part of that is uh, he took her cell phone. Okay. So yeah, so the, the 245. You saw with the deadly weapon and then the taking of the cell phone. Okay. They had the spike strips out on the freeway. It looks like he only got one of them, uh, one of his tires, the uh, right front. Uh, had he not got this tire, that we'd be still driving. For sure. Yeah, you know, on the way to the Bay Area. Yeah, you and know, he did still a great in pursuit job. of this guy. He didn't get hurt and he didn't get us either, so that's great. Yeah, so he's going to jail for violating his parole and uh, the pursuit and then whatever the Sacramento Police Department books him on for the suspected robbery and assault with a deadly weapon. Looks like we got a burglary in progress. I don't know if we've got the guys in here or not, but uh, we'll see what we have when we get there. 118, you almost off of the station in regard, please. 
too. There's a flashlight right there. You go in the basement. You see it? 163. <laughs> Police department, announce yourself! Basement's gonna be your best spot. Yeah, I don't know how to get to it. Police! Here's the basement here. Please get out! Release the dog! Hey. Last chance! Please get out! Release the dog! He will bite you! See, here's all those... Hey, Nick, here's all those burglary tools and stuff. Oh, he's still in copper. You know, he's been in here probably two or three hours going through stuff and cutting all this wiring out. And we just cost him some money. Kenny, where you at? We got an attic upstairs? I don't know, we can go look again. Where's the attic access? The only place you have a check the attic, I don't think we can get up there. He's sitting on, he's sitting on right there. Dude, you better get down. The dog's gonna bite you, get down. Get down right now. He's right there. Get out. Oh, come on. Get out. Get out. Dude, I'm going to pull you down. Get down. Get down. Get down. Get down. Drop your shoulders. Let go. Let go. Turn your arm up. Turn. No. Turn. You're coming down, sir. Get out. Let go. Let go. Is there anybody else up there with you? No, sir. They left. Huh? They left. Nobody left. They We've left. been outside. Nobody left. They left before y'all got here, sir. No, nobody left. Whose else is up there? Nobody, sir. Yeah. You think you can climb up there and stick your head up there and look? There's no one else up there. You good? You think I'm going to take your word for it? Okay. I'm good. You've been hiding from us for 45 minutes. You think I'm going to take your word for it? Come on, we're going upstairs. Downstairs. I got some weed in my pocket. Anything else? Uh, a weed pipe. What pocket? Uh, big change pocket. Thing. Don't dig. I'm not. Weed's in the left pocket. What'd you come in here plan on doing? Be honest with me. Lee? Yeah. You give me some money, man. I know. How are you going to make money? I don't know. Be honest with me. I don't know. Listen to me. All right, I'm going to be honest with you. Right now, it's a vacant house. Yeah. All right, you're looking at a trespass charge. All right, you got a crack pipe. No, that's a weed pipe. Weed pipe, it don't matter. All right. It's a pipe. All right. All right. I know you needed money. Right. What were you doing in a vacant house? Really? Where I live at? We going through some problems out there, for real. I know. And uh, I'm homeless, for real, man. OK. But you know, I go and do a little work here and there for the guy, you know, but the guy got well, listen to me. There's a there's a bag of tools down there. I know what you're doing. They know what you're doing. Yeah. All right. I want you to tell me what you're doing. Yeah. I was getting I was getting something. Well, I get me something to eat, man. What? Get me a Motis water and stuff. I understand you need something to eat and drink. Right. What were you doing down there? Stealing. Be straight with me. Stealing. Stealing what? Wire. Wire. Copper wire. Right. All right. This isn't our first right. day. Right. We know right. what you're doing. That's what I was doing, man. Did nice. you see us walk around the side with the flashlight? Yeah. That's when you ran upstairs. Yep. Yes, sir. How do you fit in that little hole in the attic? Look at me. I'm little, man. I'm a little guy. I know you're little. You ain't that little. Yeah, I know I couldn't I'm fit in there. Little, he couldn't I'm fit a, in there. I'm a little guy. I got I already got a warrant on me. All right, more than likely, you're gonna get a trespassing charge. I don't know what your warrants were. We're gonna check that in a second. You're gonna get a trespassing charge for being in there. All right, it's a vacant house. All right, there's signs all over the side of this building that say no trespassing. All right, I know what you're doing in there. All right, you get charged with the marijuana. All right, and any old warrants you got. Don't hide from the police. They will find you. They're following his car. He's, he's all over the road. Well, he's moving pretty good. Just trying to keep an eye on him as he comes around this corner. It's going to dead end up here. So he's either drunk or he's, or he's high. 1401, they can. 1401. I last saw the vehicle go Tucker and Breeze, eastbound on Tucker. He's probably going to jump out of the car.
But I'm trying to be careful through here because it is a residential area. A lot of times these guys in this neighborhood, they run from us. Stop. We're not going, we're going about 25, 28 miles per hour. He does not want to stop. All right, he's not going to make a turn at Tucker. Get out of the car! Get on the ground! <laughs> All right, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Get on your stomach right now! I'm done. 31 I'm done. a I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. All right, I give. Put everyone's life in danger because you got to get away for something. Dude, I had a gun to my head. What was I supposed to do? Call get the police shot. or stop and ask me for help? He, dude, he was in the car with me. He was in the car with the gun to my head telling me to keep on going. Where'd he go? Did, didn't y'all see somebody jump out? Nope. Uh, Here, roll up. No problem, sir. Just, man, Ay. I was just trying to protect my life, man. Did you see me where I, I stopped living? The, the, the car door come flying open and the dude come run, the come running. I rolled up on the car and it was sitting there. Dude had a gun he, to my head, dude. I swear to God on everything. He took off I on owned. me on foot. Dude, he had the gun to my head, dude. I swear to God. He's saying Bobby God. was in the car with him? No, David. He's got a warrant, I think. Hey, will I find anything in the car when I search it? Do you have any marijuana in there? Uh, nope. No drugs Is or hand there grenades? A, there might be a pipe. Have a seat. Can, can I call my uh Have a seat. That's no. your car. It's your girlfriend's car? Yeah. I'll okay. get everything. That's small. His sister just pulled up, so I'm going to go find out what her story is. What's the deal with him and his girlfriend? That's a uh, jealous kind of. They were fighting. Today? Yes. Tonight? Yes, they were fighting all. They've been fighting since last weekend, actually. Okay. They are both very jealous of each other. She can't go nowhere without him, and he can't go nowhere without her. All right. She got mad. She told him to bring the car back. He said he wasn't bringing it back until everything was calmed down. And she got mad, and she said, Well, I'm going to report it stolen. He said, No, you're not. You're not going to do that. Okay. And evidently, she did. Where was that at? Well, she can't report it stolen if. Okay, if she's well, mad, yeah, I mean, that well, doesn't Yeah, count. they have been fighting since last okay. weekend. I told them, you know, look, I got kids here. They're trying to go to sleep. I got neighbors. Right. You know, you got to stop. But they were okay. arguing for a while. We came up here, and you can see him start sliding. He slid right into the ditch, and he dug his wheels in. This mailbox helped him stop safely. That's what it looks like to me. As soon as he hit that, he jumped out of the car, and we went on foot back here. He says he might have a pipe in the glove box. And up. Oh, he does have a pipe in the glove box. Well, this guy ran from me, and uh, there's usually reasons why people run. All right, you know why you're going to jail, right? No, you, sir, you understand? Well, I know for driving without a license. That's well, that's number one. Jail. Two and three are the warrants that you have for right. not going to court when a judge told you to. I okay. had no proof I had, it. Well, I had to go to court, but I, I ain't going to argue about what's Tell that to the judge. No and you need to stop when the police car is behind you telling you to stop. Dude, but you got to understand You just need I'm to stop saying, your car. Dude. But bottom line is no driver's license, and he didn't want to stop for us. So he'll be in jail for the night. Right now, we're responding to assist officers. Uh, they're on a domestic dispute with a suspect who had numerous warrants for his arrest and is uh, wanted for felony domestic violence, is running from the cops now. They say they got him on a roof with the residence, so we're going to go see if we can assist. Somewhere in here. Right here. There. Hey, hey, don't. Look, okay, he's right look. there. 
See that guy with stripes down there? Right there. He's a supervisor. I I'm look, telling you I, right now, you're only acerbating the situation. I look. You're gonna make things a lot worse for yourself. I'm already getting, I'm already arrested. No, you're not. Nick. You're stupider than I am. You can make this all go away a lot easier if you just come on down. Really? We're so not I'm gonna go away. Go to jail. We're not gonna go away, you understand? So maybe, you honestly, maybe I should jump. Nicholas, maybe swan dive. Don't do that. Don't do that. Please no, don't do dude, that. because that bitch set me up. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They got the helicopter. That bitch set me up. on the roof. He's wanted for a felony domestic violence and uh, some warrants. He's saying he's not going to be coming down. He wants us to go up there and fight him so he can try to take one of us out. Where's the female at? Female I uh, got transported to the uh, hospital. She had a big old lump on the top of her head. All right. Send it away. Well, I'm going to go over there, and you guys are going to have a big fight. Oh, for, on the far west side. Your mother, Gloria, is coming in a red car, and she'll be here momentarily. I want my mom. He's agitated, he's been drinking, he wanted his girlfriend arrested, so we um, kind of our, did what he asked. He wanted her arrested for domestic, so we arrested her, did what he wanted, but now he's not willing to come down, so uh, we're going to take the next step and uh, hopefully force him uh, uh, to voluntarily give up and uh, not harm himself. Hey, Uncle Bill's going to be with us the whole way, okay? Yeah, your uncle can go with you. No, no, you will, no, Uncle Bill. No, you don't have to lay down. When you get down, I'm just going to put you in handcuffs. Good, you're doing the right thing, man. Keep coming. Good job, man. All right, hey, put your hands behind your back. Spread your legs for me. Relax, relax. All right, it's going to be all right, man. You did the right thing. Let me get you a cup of water, right? You will sit down and talk about it. Ma'am, for me? Yes, ma'am. Who are you doing all this? I'm the mom. I'm oh, you're the mom? What's going on? You know what? Six months ago, she went back to live with her mom, and somehow she ended back up here again. Okay. So when I got a call from him, he said Kelly had done some real ugly stuff. She had set him up. That he took the, it's not his son, it's her son, okay. took him swimming. She went to one of the stores, either Target or Walmart or both, and sold over $500 worth of clothes and bought it back. When or who hit her, I don't know because I wasn't here. Okay. What he's afraid of with the police is because he's got some petty warrants and he didn't want to go to jail. Yeah. He's saying that she set him up because she know of those warrants and she knew he was going to go to jail. So I've seen her do this before, too. Looks like he's going to be transported to uh, the Rialto Police Station for further uh, investigation. And he's going to uh, probably eventually be taken to local hospital for a mental health evaluation.